No, I initially wanted to name, you know, this video struggling to find my voice uh, as introvert, you know, having a hard time like meeting people. But <clears throat> I feel like a more accurate, a more accurate uh, way to portray what I wanted to portray with the title of the video is struggling to find my cohort. When I say that, I mean struggling to find my, my, my people, you know, struggling to find and people you have chemistry with as an introvert, you know, struggling to find and meet people that you can relate to. I made a previous video talking about, you know, I think it was mentioned about lonely. I'll put it like down here at the end of this video. Uh, but what I wanted to say on this video was, you know, more of like just a call to awareness that if you are to partake in any amount of, you know, foreign travel or move out of your comfort zone, specifically for my introverts out there, uh, for my more reserved men and women, really consider this one thing that I came across and am, you know, dealing and struggling with right now. And that is, you know, you think, try to make this short, uh, I'll try to make it very short, but you think, you know, you back to, and I'm speaking, I guess, from my thought process, and I think a lot of people kind of consider their thoughts like this too. So you think you're about to, you know, go out somewhere and you're about to start new and you're about to, you know, find your purpose. You're about to find your power group. Or you're just about to, you know, you hate everybody who you grew up with and you don't like your family or nothing like that. So you just want to get out and restart. And when you do that, there's something that I think we overlooked that I personally overlooked and that I, is making me struggle to find my voice in a way. And that is, it's tough, but obviously, I mean, it's tough, you know, starting and getting over, but the initial po point of it is exciting. Like you have, you think you have all your ducks in a row, you got the place where you're about to be at, you know, you got your schedules, you know, you know, you got your comforts that you got to find around you. Like, you know, you get familiar with the neighborhood. But once all of that, once that ecstasy and that excitement of making the initial move and doing all the crazy stress preparation to make that move or to go out to wherever you want to go. Once that initial excitement goes down, then suddenly you realize what's important to you and you think it's something that comes to you like this but it's taken me a long time to even recognize what I don't even know if it's important to me but what I feel is important to me and what I feel is going to make me feel mentally you know spiritually physically better and with that being said and being put out there I mean one of the biggest things is your peoples, your friends, you know, having your familiarity. Because once you go out, whether to a foreign country or, you know, to a vacation, like, by yourself, you know, you don't, you have zero, nothing, no support system, nobody there with you. Uh, it's good temporarily, especially because you get to go through that excitement. But once it comes down to things actually getting settled, and I think there's really more for my people who decide to permanently relocate but once all that initial excitement and everything settles then the dust clears and then you realize you know damn the hell do I do damn who do I know damn how do I meet people and normally you can find you know belonging with 
the job if you move and relocate with a new job or you know you relocate for a reason outside of just independent whatever you know independent business whatever you want to call it but like you normally you have or at least previously before covid and before all this like people wouldn't just get up and move unless they had a initial reason outside of themselves generally to go move so there was either for a job for work you know for whatever it don't matter but now they specifically in my job you know like i had the blessing to not have to necessarily find a job to once i you know got here but that's a, that's a curse in my opinion it's really a curse when you already think you have what you got you know you don't need to worry about making no money because you got your job and it's back back wherever you came from you know like with the whole working from home and everything like that's that's a curse and i deeply and truly feel feel it the curse of being alone and feeling the curse of this whole working from home like you think at first it's a blessing but in my opinion it's a curse and I say that because I'm struggling to find my voice and I'm struggling to find my belonging I'm struggling to find as it's going to be in the middle of my cohort and the people I can ride with you know the people I can talk to and it's it's hard and with nothing no, nothing at all no work no school no nothing like it's tough and i'm struggling hard so wrapping this up if you're about to relocate or go on a prolonged expedition or trip really think about your what to do when the dust settles and your social circle like if you're leaving everybody you know behind like really consider about the type of mental wear and tear that takes on you so i think from now on whenever i go and record these videos i'm gonna stop professing it by saying i'm gonna make this quick because clearly it's not quick but yeah i just wanted to share that so yeah man be careful stay frosty and stay alert